Now, in this part, what I've done, first of all, is I've updated the tension in the rope acting at C with the answer we found in the first part. That tension was 5, 6, W plus 100 over 3 newtons. So, in order to find this tension now in the rope acting at A, what I'm going to do is just resolve. I'm going to consider resolving upwards, taking upwards as positive. You don't have to, but I've chosen upwards so that I can have this term as positive in my resolving equation, which would make just the rearrangement just a little easier. Okay, so resolving upwards, we've got all of T A acting upwards, so that's positive. Let's move across to the tension in this rope at C, so we know that's positive. Its magnitude is 5, 6, W plus 100 over 3, so let's write that in. 5, 6, W plus 100 over 3. Now we'll move on to the weight here, so that's going to be minus W since it acts downwards. And we've got this one here, minus 20, because that also acts downwards. So this is the resultant force acting vertically on the rod AB. And since it's in equilibrium, that resultant is 0. So just need to rearrange this for the tension A. Let's first of all just simplify this. So what have we got? We've got TA and now we've got 5 6 W minus another W so that's going to be minus 1 6 W or just W over 6 and then we've got 100 thirds take away 20 20 is 60 thirds so 100 thirds minus 60 thirds is 40 thirds so we'll just put that in as 40 thirds and that equals 0. So therefore adding W over 6 and subtracting 40 thirds from both sides means that that tension in the rope acting at A is going to be 1 6 W minus 40 thirds. We'll put that in brackets and the units are Newtons. Okay so that gives us now the tension then at A and brings us to the end of this part of the question.